What's going on everybody, Kweku here, back with another video. Today I have for you another app, another app review showcase. I haven't used it for long, so I can't call it a review, but it is called Drag and Drop Toolbar for Windows 11. Um, and it is by the developer V3T Apps. They've made a bunch of other apps, but this is the one of highlight of note that they've been pushing. And I noticed it just now looking on the store and what it does, like it says in the name of the app, of the app it allows you finally to drag and drop items from wherever um, into applications uh, on Windows 11 like you used to be able to on Windows 10 and all the other ones before that. Uh, Cause for some reason Microsoft took it away because that was a great idea to do that. So this is a free application, um, no ads, no nothing. It's a free application, it's very simple. You install it and then you can just drag and drop into an application that you have open. I do a very uh, extreme-ish test with it to try to see if I can break things in this video as well. So let's see how that turns out. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Let's look at it. So you might be wondering, where is the application? What, where, where is the application you're showing off? Well, it's already open. It's this notch up here at the top of the screen here. Um, for this purposes, you guys are gonna view this in 1920 by 1080, basically 1080p full HD. Um, although I do have a much larger display uh, resolution that I typically use to do my normal computing. Um, but I wanna show in the most normal sense ever, like what usual people have for displays. Most people don't have ultra wides and things like that. So now I'm gonna go to my file explorer. And right now what you're seeing is a couple thumbnails and a couple videos that I've uploaded in the past, mainly those Windows Insider builds uh, that I've uploaded in the past. And I'm gonna use these thumbnails here, these JPEG files. You could technically use videos as well, but I'm gonna use JPEG files in this purpose and I'm gonna drag them in to uh, various programs. So right here I have Word and right here I have Affinity Photo. Now by default, the default action for Windows 11, in fact, the only action as far as people have discovered is that you cannot drag and drop to anything in this taskbar. It is crossed out. They're not gonna let you do it. I don't know why they took it away all these years, but it is gone. But with this drag and drop with, for Windows 11, you go up to this notch up here and you see right here, you have Word and then you have Affinity Photo right there. And it'll let me drag and drop between the two whichever way I want. And then I can just let go of it and boom, it's there. So just like that, that works. So if I open up File Explorer and let's say I wanna open up this and I wanna drag and drop, I wanna put in a Finny Photo, boom. Let's wait for it, boom. So now you have that file right there and it's already ready to go. So if you wanna see it fully, let me just try to shrink this, there you go. So if you wanna see it fully, it is already there. So there's the file. So then, you know what? Let's pick another image file. Let's pick uh, this uh, dev channel 21327 drag and drop, let's go to Word, let's uh, scroll it down a little bit, boom, let's attach that right there. So now you have two images that have been drag and dropped into you know, Word, pretty simple. Another thing you can do, I'm gonna test out, this one I haven't tested out yet, is videos in Word. I think you're able to do this, but we'll find out together. So I'm gonna take this MP4 video, I hope it'll work, put it into Word, scroll down, past this 22 and let's see if something shows up with word i'm not sure if this even isn't as a function in word the file might be too big but we'll find out nope it actually works so there you go you can in fact do that with this application you can still drag and drop your videos and things like that and embed them into your documents which is pretty nice and then let's see what happens if i click the video and then does it do anything else no what happens if i activate contents so if i hit open Okay, so it opens up the video just like normal, but it also adds the file's thickness to my overall document. If I minimize this and let's say I want to, you can't do videos in Affinity Photo, unfortunately, but I can do another photo. So you know what, let me go take this photo and take this and put this here. Boom, it's already in there. And then if I want to shrink it, there you go. Now it fits and you can make it straight if you're OCD kind of like I am. And there you go. So it's, this application is so dead simple that like you can't, you, it's like you can't screw this kind of thing up. It's, it's, you install it and then it installs very quickly. And then you can just then drag and drop 
everything to whatever you want, as far as I know. I don't use too many things on my computer. I'm sure someone will find uh, things that can't be drag and dropped, but if you do find that, well, the developer is there for that. But for my purposes of showcasing this application, that's what I've noticed. Now, there's something else that I wanted to show, and it is simply because I have a stupid amount of RAM. I have, where is it, right here, I have 128 gigabytes of RAM, 107 gigabytes remaining. So because of that, I wanna find out what happens if you have multiple of the same window open, and also what happens if I can somehow fill up the entire bar on top of this screen here. So if I take this, right now I only have a few applications open, so you see that it's only Affinity Photo and Word. What happens if I try to fill out the entire bar up here, what happens? If I can even do that, I'm gonna do a fast forward and try to open up as many applications as I can. So stay tuned for that. Give me one second. Okay, I am back. And so as you saw in that time last, I opened up a whole lot of file explorers. Those are the ones that I noticed actually showed up. So before I even do this test, I wanted to get into the quirks of this application. Uh, one quirk that I noticed when I was doing this whole process was that for some reason, uh, when you open up this area up here, it the, like the design of it could be definitely updated. It's not fluent for me. It's not kind of like the color scheme of the file explorer and things like that. It's just bright in your face. So I wish that it was had some fluent elements. I wish it was had those mica design elements, those, you know, just some see-through, you know, acrylic-y elements in it instead of that uh, stark thing, which is right here. And now for the test. So right here, I have opened up a ton of file explorers a whole lot i wouldn't recommend doing this because it uses up a lot of memory but i have memory to spare now i've opened up so many file explorers it's even cut off on the side over here now a thing that i noticed and i'm pretty sure because of this i pretty much broke the application is that when you drag to the side here and let's say there's more things over there on the you know the far side of it uh you can't it doesn't just scroll keep start scrolling so you can see what else is there it stops there's not even an arrow there so to the application developer uh i would say i think it's v3t uh, apps i would say add a way for you to scroll when you hover a file over if you have too many things open i know most people won't run into this problem but if you do just add that in add that function in and then also make it fluent i know it has rounded corners on the bottoms but make it fluent so it's not so bright uh, make it similar to the taskbar below uh, other than that, and I do see a little see-through, a little fluency, but other than that, it's a pretty good application. It, it does its job and it does go through. And then another thing maybe that I would say is uh, perhaps what you can do, and this is 1920 by 1080 that I'm doing this, is maybe when you hover over a, a, a place long enough, maybe it shows a label of what is actually, the application is actually called. Cause let's, cause all of these things here, imagine if you download an application that for some reason had the same file icon, had the same icon as file explorer. You don't know other than hovering over and then it changes. You don't know which one is, um, you don't know which one is file explorer at first glance. So you're just wondering, you're like, okay, is this one file explorer or is this one the other file explorer? In this situation, all of these are file explorer, but add a little label. If you hover long enough, you know, a quick label. Um, and then other than that, I think I like this application. Will I use it too much? Maybe, I wish it was updated to have better design elements. Um, it needs to be darker, like, uh, or have an option to make it darker, because right now it's just the bright bright mode or light mode. Um, make it follow Windows 11's design, uh, Windows 11's uh, theme of dark and light mode. So that way if my computer is dark mode, it should have a dark background, or just make it follow my taskbar down below if you can. So other than that, that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Let me go all the way back to my desktop. There we go. And other than that, that is it. That is a uh, file, file drag and drop, I believe. And if you want to know how much memory I'm using because of that, ironically, I didn't actually use up any extra memory. I, in fact, I have more gigabytes of memory available after doing that. Um, but other than that, 
that is about it. I just wanted to showcase this application because I know a lot of people, including myself, have had issues with Windows 11 taking away features, and that's why we looked at Start 11. That's why we looked at files, the files application, the, the you know the UWP files application from uh, Yare. Um, and now we're looking at this, uh, I think, file drag and drop. I, I'll probably butcher the name. You'll see it on the title, so you'll know what it is. But yeah. And then one other thing I wanted to say was uh, Discord is now available. You guys, uh, some fellow friends of mine helped me out, and mainly them. I mainly let them do it. They opened up the Discord for Next Windows, so kudos to them for doing that. You can now join. I'll put the link to the Discord on the screen and also in the description box below, so you can click it and join. There's all kinds of things that might happen there, especially podcast things on the main stage and stuff, so things are coming around really well. And also, this might be the last video I do in this current place that I'm living in right now. I'll be moving as of next video. I'll be probably in the next place. So new experiences, new bigger things. We're moving forward in this channel. I hope you guys will join me along the way. My name is Kwaku, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.